These are troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the Crown and its subjects frays. And behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies Come have they already up. spun? Spare For a all moment. All these things I must determine. Of course. For Have only by knowing my enemy can I hope to stop What is him. it? Xing Bao, or Rope Dart, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Xiao Yun to... <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to work on this. Ganondogo. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse! We cannot oppose the Sachem, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He is called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft! Connor, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. He'll be able to help. What have you done? When my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used a tree. He is right. He could have used a tree. Uh, defend your convoy. What? Connor, it has occurred to me that the times we live in will be looked upon by future generations with a certain degree of scrutiny, no matter the outcome. With that in mind, I think it valuable to record the goings-on around the homestead. A true log of how people lived during this time of transition. Something to help color the portrait. What do you think? When I find a moment, I will try. Very good. Okay, there's a whole bunch of new recipes and whatnot I've discovered. Um... It doesn't tell me exactly, like, what is this symbol? Interactive conversation. All right, let's quickly go see what that is about. <coughs> Holy crap, I'm getting a whole bunch of recipes. And I saw my closet was full of clothes, so. Bloody hell. Can you help me? Are you all right? What do you think? Um, How did uh, this happen? Poachers in the woods. I asked them to leave. This was their answer. Come on. We need to get that arm looked at. What of the men who did this? They can wait. Your wound cannot.
you be able to make it to the house? Yes. I think the ball took only flesh. And what is your name? Miriam. Do you live nearby? Uh, I, I don't have a home per se. I took to the frontier when I was a young girl. I've made my life out here ever since. Living where the land makes it easiest. Not a common choice for a woman of the colonies. No, it's, it's not. But truth be told, it was this, the convent or the brothels. I prefer the open air. Is this, uh, Connor's new wifey? Or soon to be wifey? I don't know. Let's. Connor, what are you doing? Those poachers need to be stopped. I saw the scabs from my hunting blind. Get to that, and you shouldn't have any trouble finding them. Use the rope dart if you can. Get familiar with it. You failed to save your convoy. All right, rope dart. Yeah, I don't know how these trees can support my weight, or better yet, these branches. I know a few branches that can support heavy weights, but uh, I have my doubts about this. Hold Y and push. Oh my god. Holy god. That is scary.
William Johnson's opening up some of that mohawk land he purchased for free hunting soon. Might be we make a good haul up there. You fellas, shooting strangers in the forest is that common hunting practice where you come from? No, I spare me. Go tell the friends you have left what happened here. I am speechless at what I just did. Thank you, Achilles. You are most welcome. Why did those men attack you? It's no secret this land is full with game. I spotted the trespassers en route to request permission to hunt here myself, and suggested they do the same. The bounty of the forest is not mine to give. It is your right to hunt on this land, but I would appreciate you trading your surplus with the others. Very well. I accept. Seems to be a mission over there, so let's fast travel there and see what Peg Leg has for us to do. Do what do I owe this great honor, Captain? The letters you speak of, what are they? Oh, now you want to know. Captain Kidd's letters, boy. He hid a great treasure somewheres, and sent letters to four of his crewmen, along with a strange piece of leather. If you find the men, you'll find the scallywag. It's that easy, tis. May I see them? <laughs> you might be a cotton, but you're not too bright, are you? I'll barter with them. You give me some trinkets I like, and I'll give you a letter. Building my own treasure cache, see? Trinkets? Like what? Where? Use your imagination, Captain. There's interest in swag all over the frontier. Swag. He really does have a peg leg. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think there was a trinket here. What you got for me, you adult boy? That's not near enough. I, I wasn't actually wanting to talk to you.
That literally only gave me a second to react. your brother uh, go back to talk to peg leg What you got for me? Ah, you brought me some good pieces. Last worth a letter to be sure. Here you go, Captain. I will be back for the rest. I. I'll probably be doing the trinket collection later on off stream I guess liberation is connected to this now. It's not a separate. Oh, that's a fast travel point, not a mission. Should have stopped by the homestead. I'll do that a little later off stream. Or on stream. I went the wrong way. Alrighty. Frontiersman Feather.
That's a lot of red coats just guarding the entrance. I guess it, it would be a checkpoint. So, am I entering a fortress? No, I'm not. It's just the walls, I guess. some new items in the store, though I don't have enough money. Yes. There's just wild pigs roaming the streets. And of course rats. <gasps> yes. Yo, mind your business, guards. I can't. It's so foggy, I can't see where. Almanac. This doesn't have new stuff. <laughs> There's a treasure on the way over there. Damn foggy. Nope, that's a dead end. 
Nope. Nope. I... That was not my intentions. going on here. I can't pick up the strum. Something happened over there. Is that something I can rob? Or like it's like a traveling salesman? Demonstrations won't suffice, Sam. We need to act, and I'm talking about more than a sternly worded letter. I sympathize with your frustrations, gentlemen, but surely you can understand my reluctance to kick the hornet's nest. Ah, Connor. Hello again. What brings you to Boston? You. Would you excuse us, fellows? Thank you. That conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Now, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could help me locate William Johnson. Of course. I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come along? Well, it's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Says the man who owns a slave. <laughs> Ooh, sorry? I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman, at least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. We must focus first on defending our rights. When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. You speak as though your condition is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. Tell that to my neighbor who is compelled to quarter British troops, or to my friend whose store was closed because he displeased the crown. 
The people here are no freer than Surrey. You offer excuses instead of solutions. All people should be equal, and not in terms. It's in terms, or not at all. Hey! It's my home! No matter what you thieves call taxmen say! If the gums in Parliament who want to take my property, you tell them to sail across the pond and take it themselves! It's not open for discussion now. Open this door or these men will break it down! Ah! The bollocks! We're coming in! Invisible soldiers? I trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue on. I shall meet you at our destination. For once, I dare the governor to send more. <clears throat> you all right? I'm fine. It's not my first dance. For all their teeth and claws, these little foxes, they fight like puppies. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I'd buy you a nail, but uh, I'm expecting somewhere else. You should also clean yourself up. Brother. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Move away from these bodies, you didn't see nothing. Lot of soldiers. I do not want to. Connor, I'd like you to meet some like minded friends. The owner of this fine establishment, William Molyneux, and the manager and chef of his newest venture, Stefan Chaffaut. Ah, Connor and I just had a ball uh, with some red coats and forcing some tax men outside my home. The collectors grow bolder. And more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British tea. The eyes of the city are upon that stage. A Bostonian without his tea is a dangerous beast. William Johnson is smuggling the tea off the ships. One of his men tried to sell me this. A sample of what I refused. But it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I've never met the man. May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to purchase the land upon which my village stands. Without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. A tax enforced on tea grants a boon to smugglers. I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. A stage requires a spectacle, and I may know the play. Connor, uh. head back to the docks and see to the destruction of the tea. If you should need us, return here. Pardon me. Oh, come on, mate. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not ready to uh, fight a lot of red coats right now. Oh. Oh, there's a. Uh, Hey man, just pay your taxes. <gasps> oh my god, how high is this? Uh, about 150 feet? How he can balance himself on just the balls of his feet. Impressive. Alright, where's the hay bale? I see the hay bale. That would have been a bad mistake. Limit the use of firearms. Okay. I thought that was a whole bunch of dogs barking. God damn. Trip mines, sna oh, okay. I'll take that. There's a few people over there. There's also looks like a Templar Tower fort. That is of no concern to me right now. And I dropped my rifle, of course. I couldn't just put it on my back or something.
Oh! Where did he come from? It's like Randy Orton, except he didn't perform the surprise RKO. Alright, there's a few people over there. Yep, yeah, well, you're dead. You can't stop me. Can't stop, won't stop. I suggest you run away, my friend. That didn't work. Oh my god. Oh. Thank you, horse. You did. That's not what I wanted. Come on. That's not what I wanted to do. Stop! You're a fucking idiot. You're a 
fucking idiot. Oh my god. Do I have to? That's a main objective right now? I feel like these are just menial tasks that they're having me do. Oh my god. Of course there's another patrol. How is this guy... Oh my god, there's another... Fuck you with your shishlele, oh god. Are you fucking kidding me? This is horrible. Citizens, help me!
How are they reaching me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Combat system sucks in this one. There's no locking on, like, there's no countering. I don't understand this. Stupid AF. <laughs> no, just <clears throat> in shops you can buy items and okay. Consumables, are there... There's no potions? There's no health potions? Like, I don't get it. Is there no health potions? These have no, like, armor. There's no armor system. And here would like normal weapons. I can't unlock any of these. And the normal sword sucks. Blunt weapons. Can't unlock any of these. Small weapons. 
Stone Axe sucks. Uh, stone Tomahawk sucks. The, uh, <laughs> heavy weapons? I can't. I'm not using heavy weapons. What's the point in getting this if Oh, my rate of fire is, I guess, goes up. Good God, these are expensive. I cannot believe there's no potions, like... A new bylaw will enforce annual roof inspections by qualified craftsmen throughout the city. While expressing sincere condolences to the Brown family... Alright, bro. Like, like if you're gonna give me a mission or not. Not to play near the manufactory buildings. Uh, have you taken leave of your... Gentlemen dilettantes, amateurs and the curious... I don't understand. Was he gonna give me a mission or just stand there and be like an ass? What is this? What is this? I'm supposed to get him these? Why are you climbing when I don't want you to climb? I don't understand. I understand the free run is... Stop, stop. Where's this letter mission? I wish I can just go in and tell Rebecca your improvements okay but it needs more refinement a lot more refinement <laughs> okay I'm not that far away from the main mission mechanical forging of all dimensions
Siphon, what is wrong? Where is Sam Adams? Who cares? I've been robbed! Vous me le payez, ces scélérats de merde! Where are you going? To get back what's rightfully mine! Some pathetic red coats waiting for a beating! I will match your face to your skaquette, scrapule! <coughs> Ces coquins me prennent mon père au Canada, et voilà qu'ils me ravissent ma propriété ici! Il suffit! I feel like he's gonna go that way, and I'm gonna have to... Please, stop and listen to me. I've listened for long enough. They come into my home and take my things? I will get my revenge. The man responsible for this will pay. His friends will pay. Voilà trop longtemps que je suis bissé d'arcon. Ils vont goûter de mon courroux. You looking for a fight, Englishman? I'll give you what you want. L'anglois croise mon chemin. Il me vole ma maison. Il m'oblige à fuir mon pays. Et les voici qui veulent s'approprier ma nouvelle demeure. fight injustice, but this is not it. You want me to tell Johnson his tea Ooh. just spontaneously combusted? Nonsense. Someone's responsible for this, and you will find out who. And if you can't, I'll gut you and find a smarter mongrel who can. What do we do? Create a window.
Bloody hell are you? <laughs> Why? You have no right to rub people blind. By decree of the British Parliament or not. British Parliament? I work for William Johnson. Johnson? And his suffering cleanly. Please. Yikes, dude. The people seem to have an ear for you. What are the things you lost? The people listen to me only because I spoke the truth loud enough, which is worth 1,000 times the content of my footlocker. And the English, they can keep my things. You did well tonight. I said I'd buy you an ale when you first helped me. In place of drink, I offer you my allegiance. For what it's worth. Your aid is welcome, and I am grateful. Now. I need to find Sam Adams. Go to your nearest bar. Oh. What I feel in a low profile assassination. I don't. I still can't believe there's no there's no health potions. There's a viewpoint literally right across the street from another viewpoint. Like, I don't understand that. I mean, 
they could have they went with the remaster they could have done a lot better job with the movement All right. The Black Swan Inn offers you the finest fare. Fair ships. Fair birds. I have to hold down. What happens now? We wait for the signal. What signal? This meeting can do nothing further to save the country. That one. Evening, gentlemen. Shall we be off? No. What's the matter? I have spent today drawn from one bit of madness to another with nothing to show for it. Before I go any further, I would like to know exactly what it is you intend. Of course. First, we make our way to Nathaniel Bradley's house to fetch the rest of our little group. Then it's on to Griffin's Wharf, where we board the ships and dump the tea. Simple as that. Simple seems a bit charitable. You don't Cheer have to be up, yelling, Connor. Connor. For tonight, we are all victors. The Sons of Liberty get to send a message to England, and you rob William Johnson of his financing. Your village will be saved. I've an idea. Why don't you lead the way? That should keep us out of any further trouble. Am I right? Damn it, more guards. We need to turn the crowd's anger to our advantage. Say the world, Connor, and I will make it so.
We need to keep those bastards at bay while the tea's been dumped. Let me help. I'm yours to command. Okay. God, this guy just super kicked him right into outer space. about the fight. me into the water. He threw himself into the water. We've done it! Gunner! We saved the last one for you. Best 
best we get out of here, huh? Okay, so where exactly do I go? I gotta go to the frontier. Nope, that's the other way. So is this guy dead or is this guy injured? I don't understand. says X. What does that mean? This is complicated. complicated It is done. Johnson is dead? No. He retreated when we destroyed the tea. Only to hatch some new scheme, I'm sure. You should have killed him. There was no need. <sighs> Time will tell if you speak the truth. Radun <laughs> Hagedum! Why are you here? Has something happened? William Johnson has returned with all the money required to buy our land. He meets with the elders as we speak. I have begged him to resist, but I fear he shall have his way unless you intervene. How is this possible? We destroyed the tea. The Templars are nothing if not resourceful. You should have heeded my warning. Please, you have to stop him. Of course. Can you tell me where they're meeting? <sighs> B 
People like him have multiple sources of income. T was not gonna... Probably just dented his resources, but... Ah, Connor, you idiot. Is he not going to get a lot of canoes to the Johnson's? You got the rocks top. Guahigans, you what to make a noon hard at them again. The god they're hard at Guacanto. You can flash travel between cities once you zoomed out. No. Convenient tree. I don't know if I'm hidden or not. Give me a headshot. They're not going to give me the arrow that was stuck to his head.
What am I being stuck on? can't assassinate him. You can climb almost any walls, wall face. All of a sudden, you can't climb this. Variety level up. Nobody saw that. We are all too aware of the expeditions your people send against us. What do you mean? We are all one. We should act as such. How? By signing our lands over to you? Then we'll be as one in your debt forever? Sir William may have a point. What hope have we against their black powder and iron? The spirits will guide us as they always have. Did they not guide us here? Yes. I'm being stuck that on an invisible wall. This is a mistake. We should sign. Those tall grasses could have hit me, but all of a sudden... <sighs> Who gives a damn? How do I reach over there? Oh. Peace! Peace! Have I not always been an advocate? Have I not always sought to protect you from harm? If you wish to protect us, then give us arms, muskets and horses that we might defend ourselves. War is not the answer. We remember, Stanwicks. We remember you moved the borders. Even today, your men dig up the land, showing no regard for those who live upon it. Your words are honeyed, but false. 
We are not here to negotiate, nor to sell. We are here to tell you and yours to leave these lands. So be it. I offered you an olive branch, and you knocked it from my hand. Perhaps you'll respond better to the sword. Are you threatening us? Yes. Thought you might send one of your own to oppose me. An unwise decision. You now learn. Call off your dog, or everyone dies. Make me do this, Johnson. I wanted the pistol. They're not giving me the pistol. I wanted the pistol. Oh no. What have you done? Ensured an end to your schemes. You sought to claim these lands for the Templars. Aye. That we might protect them. Do you think that good King George lies awake at night, hoping that no harm comes to his native subjects? Are that the people of the city care one whit about them? Oh sure. The colonists are happy to trade when they need food or shelter, or a bit of extra padding for their armies. But when the walls of the city constrict, when there's crops that need soil, when there's... when there's no more enemy to fight, we'll see how kind the people are then. The colonists have no quarrel with the Iroquois. Not yet. But they will. Tis the way of the world. In time, they'll turn. I... I could have stopped it. I could have saved you all. You speak of salvation, but you were killing them. Aye, because they would not listen. And so, it seems, neither will you. I was <laughs> not a good person, I was <laughs> not a William Johnson is dead, and with him, the Templar plot to steal the land of my people. But in ending this threat, I have revealed another. On his body was a letter addressed to John Pitcairn, containing orders to root out and destroy Patriot weapons and supplies. Should he succeed in this, the colonists will be unable to maintain their resistance, and the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. I need to find him. He needs to die. I thought it might bring clarity or instill a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is regret. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. Not only for my people, but for all the others Johnson would have harmed. It's a start. But to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. Even your father... I know. You speak the words, but do you believe them? Seems we've company.
What is it? A request for aid from Paul Revere. Seems the Redcoats are up to something in Boston. Guess you made an impression on the Sons of Liberty. They mistake me for one of their own. Please tell Mr. Revere he has my sympathies, but I cannot help at present. You might wish to reconsider. John Pitcairn is mentioned by name. Where am I to go? Mr. Revere's house in Boston. If you'd like, I can... Ah, Connor! What a relief! You came! <laughs> Allow me to... <laughs> to introduce you to William Dawes and Robert Newman. Your letter said John Pitcairn was here. Aye. He's readying an assault on Lexington, where Adams and Hancock have taken shelter. After that, he will march on Concord, hoping to destroy our weapons and supplies. You must help us. Only tell me where to find him, and I will put a stop to this. He has dozens, if not hundreds, of soldiers at his command. You cannot hope to match him by yourself. But fear not, for you will not have to. We have an entire army of our own, merely awaiting the order to take up arms. Then you must call upon them. Indeed. You and I. Cross the Charles River and rouse the boys. William, I need you to take the overland route and do the same. Robert, I need you up in Christchurch. Light the signal. Two lanterns, our enemy comes by sea. No time for dawdling, my friend. We have lives to save. Come on. Connor's an asshole. Like, he wants to be friendly. Oh, no, no. Don't touch me. Huh. They've only left a single horse. We'll have to ride together. Ah. You take the reins, I'll navigate. Quickly, Connor, get on the horse. I'll guide you towards those we need to alert. Follow my directions, and we'll be done in no time. Yes! This is it! This is the way! This way, Connor! Shut up, horse. Nearly there, Connor. Keep going, Connor. We're almost there. Yeah, you don't see the British patrol They must there? be scouts. Be careful, Connor. We mustn't let them warn the others. Left! To the right, Connor. To the right! Left! That's the right that you pointed? To the right, Connor! To the right! This way, Connor! I believe we are on course. Here we are. Best to continue on foot.
find the first militia house? Like... No. Is it this? This is it! You have got the right place! Let everyone know that the regulars marked for Lexington and Concord. The British are coming! Back in the saddle, my friend. We have more people to warn. Turn right! Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Keep going! Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Ooh, there's a patrol. Let's take a wide right. To the left, Connor! Go left up here. Did you hear that? Could be redcoats. Careful. I believe we are on course. Go left up here. I believe we are on course. To the left, Connor! Might be safer if we approach the houses on foot. Which house? I'm gonna take a wild guess. Be on the lookout for redcoats. It's only these three houses. This is it! You have got the right place! <coughs> Spread the word. The regulars are coming out. At once! Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Turn right. Turn right. Let's just hold back over here for a second. We have to cross that. Road. Shut up, horse. Wait for that patrol to... To the right, Connor! To the right! I understand. You don't see the fucking patrol in front of us? I believe we are on course. Let us continue the search on foot. This is it! You have got the right place! The regulars are coming. Here! We're here! Get them! Find a way to get rid of them, Connor! We've got to shake those redcoats! Well, I suppose that's one way to deal with the situation. Why aren't you fighting with your axe?
That was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. Yeah, we're not gonna make this. Because the horse did not want to run. Find a way to get rid of them, Connor. Shut up. You're so annoying. Find a way to get rid of them, Connor. To the left, Connor. Find a way to get rid of them, Connor. That was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. This way, Connor. This way, Connor. Here we are. Best to continue on foot. This is it. You have got the right place. Where the devil is he? Are you sure we are in the right place? Oh, sure, I'm sure. Prescott? Evening, gents. Listen, the regulars are out. You need to rally your men. And, uh, put on some trousers. At once. Welcome to Lexington, Connor. Now let's find Hancock and Adams. Hmm. No sign of Dawes. I hope he's all right. Connor, good to see you. You need to leave. The Redcoats are coming. Aye, so Williams told us. Let them conduct their little search. They'll find nothing. You don't understand. Pitcairn intends to kill you. I'm afraid it's true. I suppose we have no choice then but to go. What of you three? Dawes and I will continue on to Concord. Connor? It's best you stay here and help our man John Parker hold the town. It'll give us time to spread the word. a new item in the store. Let's check that out. We can also go to the accounting book. Craft. Hunting. I don't know if this is an exploit, but I guess this is the 
easiest way to earn money. Uh, yeah, why does he have significantly higher risk? We'll send the same guy. Is that it? <coughs> I mean, I guess... And none of these are actually worth anything. What's your pleasure today? My pleasure would be the small weapon that was just unlocked, the Dirk. Speed. Should I go with speed? I don't know. None of these actually do damage. Normal weapons. The French rapier. Sacrifice speed. Uh, I don't know. I do have blunt weapons. Though it's heavy attack, so it's one speed. Oh my god, for 15 damage. Uh. See, it can be. The crafting recipes can be founded in Boston. If I can find that, that'd be nice. New York. Alright. I'll stick with... I'll stick with the tomahawk for now. like they're about to go into battle on the I should resupply on old stuff I did not know that mission was going to happen better be on the safe side and restock so what can I do for you Manir? all right so firstly buy consumable I believe I use a smoke bomb
I'm gonna sacrifice one damage. Of course, I have yet to do any of these contracts. Wow. your ground, men! <coughs> Don't fire! <coughs> Unless fired upon! But if they mean to have a war, let it begin here! <coughs> Pit can. Disperse, you damn rebels! Lay down your arms and disperse! What the deuce are you doing? Hold your position! Cravens! Traitors! They are not coming back. You will have to make do with those who remain. Don't you lecture me, or not. Return fire! Return fire! You need to get to Concord and warn the others. Show this to whoever leads there. Should be a man by the name of James Barrett. Go on now! <coughs> Come on! We'll meet up with the others in Concord! <coughs> Get moving, men! With little time! Rescue all civilian Recruits hostage. They're over there. I've got a 
surprise for those lobster backs. Blood's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. You don't say. And why do you think I'm men up here? Go home, or you get yourself killed. I have enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play at hero. I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. Where's Revere? Captured. What? Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. He'll be fine. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> Your ladies finished gossiping? Parker seems to believe you're not completely useless, so I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. When the fighting starts, we'll need to hold those positions there. They're critical to the defense of Concord. Good boys. Not used to soldier, and they need some with the experience to direct them. That's something you can do. You'd best be telling the truth. You have my word. Then I suppose all that's left to do is wait. Sir! Mount the barricades! No! Ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Redcoats will form firing lines. Order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late. And the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive.
Wait for my signal. Go! Make ready! Fire! Prepare yourselves. Open fire. guys can wait a little bit. Hold fire! Come on, come on. <laughs> Open fire! Prepare yourselves. Open fire! <laughs> Make ready! Go! Wait for the signal. Open fire. Hold fire. Fire! Make ready. Hold fire. Fire! Prepare yourselves. Where are these guys? Prepare yourself. Fire! Fire. Now. Wait for my signal. Prepare your fire! Prepare yourself. Make ready! Fire! Barriers. Open fire. Make ready. Fire! Fall back! Fall back! We did it! They're turning tail! the looting I can do. Any of you guys have beaver hide? That'd be really nice of y'all. Takes a true monster to do something like this. At least they're gone. 
I should have struck when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So that he might regroup and plan his next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. And what of them? We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. Mm. It never is. For the support of the glorious cause. I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity, I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, there as is no pay, man better sir, suited I to beg the task. Leave to assure really? The Congress that I can think no of several. Consideration could have Charles me Lee. Have accepted this arduous employment at the do I know you? I would not expect happiness. you to remember. <laughs> I Come, Connor, to there's someone I want you to meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. Sorry to pull you away Those, like that, I doubt but not they the will last discharge, thing we need is that the is two all of you coming to blows. Now, Connor... Allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed Commander-in-Chief, George Washington. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. <laughs> as humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. How did both y'all go into the same building and not recognize each other? Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're gonna get at him is if we draw him out. Now, lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor. Still here, are you? I was just wondering, what happens now? There's quite a lot to do. Commander Washington must determine when and where we'll strike next. And we need to get to work on our message. Message? We must contact the broadsheets at once. Ensure it's clear to everyone that it was the Loyalists who fired first in Lexington. But no one knows who fired first. Which is exactly why we must spread the news quickly. We'll determine public opinion. This seems dishonest. Perhaps, but so what? People must believe we acted in self-defense, else we've committed treason. But you have. Better to bow and scrape before a tyrant, then? Is that what you suggest? No, of course not. No one should be denied freedom. And yet, to change the truth, it seems a dangerous road to travel. Understand, Connor. This is a war fought not just on the battlefield, but within hearts and minds as well. There's nothing wrong with a bit of theater, especially if it saves lives. Spreading fake news before fake news was ever a thing. Since we're in here, wonder if there's anything 
up here. Oops, sorry, sorry. You guys fascinated at that painting? Warden. Wooden War Club. Ugh. Alright. Looks like we gotta go back to Boston. real nice that you can actually select to call your horse rather than have a dedicated button to just to call it. It frees up some of the uh, space. Now, I don't want to attack anything, I just want to do the mission. Though the horse stamina sucks. It's like sprint 30 yards. Oh. That was a mission. I'm looking for Israel Putnam. On whose orders? Samuel Adams. Follow me. It's not Bunker Hill. Aye, it's Breed. There's been some disagreement as to where we should encamp. Any news from Boston? The Tories aren't moving. And any time we try to press them, we lose a dozen men. I think Putnam and the others plan to assemble artillery on these hills. A good shelling might make the Red Coast rethink their strategy. And what of John Pitcairn? That bastard's the cagiest of the bunch. He's appeared time to time to taunt us or send regards by way of cannon fire. It's all right, though. He'll have what's coming to him soon enough. Putnam's just up ahead. You can't... I don't care much for your excuses, gentlemen. We should be building on Bunker Hill. Breeds is closer to the city, but it is also closer... To... I risk my case. I'm going back to Bunker Hill. Good morning, gentlemen. General Putnam. What? I'm looking for John. I was told you'd be able to help me find him. He's stuck away inside that city with no reason to leave. As long as that ship continues its assault, we'll never flush him out. But if the ship was silenced... Oh, that poor guy might be forced to get off his arse and come forward. I shall fly this flag to signal my success. And I shall speak fondly of you at your funeral. <laughs>
Holy crap. Right to the neck. Alright, what do I have to do? Uh, stand back. Peekaboo. numbers, he said. Better weapons, better training. But I do not fear, and neither should you. 
But what they have in material, they lack in conviction and care. But not us. We have discipline. We have order. And most importantly, we have passion. We believe. So maintain vigilance. Serve your ammo. Ensure a proper line of sight. And above all else, men, do not fire until you see the whites of their eyes. Well, I'll be damned. You did it. That was quite a speech. Lies, all of it, I'm afraid. Still, such words have carried us thus far. And what of Pitcairn? He's left Boston. As I said, he would. He set up camp on Bolton Hill. There's no good way to get out of it. Not with that maelstrom growing down below. I suppose you could circle around a bit or wait for us to thin their ranks. There is no time. I will have the chance to direct approach. That's twice today you propose the impossible. I see no other choice. Not because you're mad at the March Hare, son. I expect an apology on my return.
This is a frustrating mission nonetheless because Connor is an idiot. And these guards have hypersensitivity turned on. understand how I whistled him doesn't seem to be good options to air assassinate and he can't even like take cover inside those bushes like are you serious Connor are you serious are you serious are you fucking serious? There's a whole gangbang of them. What the hell did I just hit? Protect Adams and Hancock and those they serve. You meant to kill them. Kill them? Are you mad? I wanted only to parley. There was so much to discuss. To explain. If you put an end to that now. If you speak true, then I will carry your last words to them. They must lay down their arms. They must stop this war. Why them and not the Redcoats? Do you not know think we ask the same question of the British? These things take time. And I would have succeeded had you let me play my part. Part of the puppeteer. For better we hold the strings on another. No, the strings should be severed. All should be free. And we should live forever on castles in the sky. You wield your blade like a man, but your mouth like a child. And more will die now. Because of that. He's telling the truth, Connor. You're a fucking child. Like that. Why don't you just go out there and just help this cap retreat? Don't ever do that again, you hear me? God damn it! General Putnam. You live. The same cannot be said for Pitcairn. Well done, I suppose. <laughs> but it matters little now. I'm ordering a full retreat. We have lost too many in exchange for too little. If the Tories want this hill so badly, let them have it. Boston is the true prize. We have a bigger problem. What do you mean? This can't be right. It says they plan to murder Washington. 